All right, so I made a video talking about some of the lies that you hear a lot of people tell you about getting a job as a programmer and whatnot. And I wanted to talk about some of the things that I don't like about working as a software developer. And maybe I'm just feeling burnt out lately. Maybe I'm just at a point in my life where I don't really know if I wanna work a job every day. And I wanna say that I love writing code. I love building stuff. I love being a software developer. I'm really happy that I did it. I'm really happy that I learned how to code. I'm really happy that I decided to go on that path and take that journey and become self-taught and get a job and work professionally as a developer. And I just kind of want to talk about some of the things that I personally have not been enjoying about being a programmer and stuff that I do on a day-to-day -day basis that you may not hear many people talk about when they're encouraging you to learn how to code and become a programmer. The first thing I want to say is that I absolutely despise having to sit at a desk all day or stand at my desk all day or just be confined to one space for eight hours a day and having to stare at a screen the whole time. It honestly kind of sucks. And this is coming from someone who was a hardcore gamer who played video games his whole life and has no problem staring at a screen. Now, it's just the fact that when you're kind of forced into it because it's your job, it kind of gets very boring very fast. It's hard on your body. And, I, and I've and i never been someone who's worked construction and had really grueling jobs. I parked cars for a very long time. I was a waiter, I was a bellhop. So I always had jobs that kept me moving around and kept me on my feet and kept me interacting with people and you know had me break a sweat every once in a while. And the fact that I have to sit at a computer all day and answer emails and write code and join you know virtual meetings and whatnot, it's just very boring and it's 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 taking a toll on me and it's something that I wanted to get out there for people who are thinking about becoming software developers. If you just don't like being in front of a computer all day, just take that into consideration if this is something that you're trying to do. Again, I love what I do. I love how much money I make because of it and I think it's a great job, but being at a computer all day kind of sucks and it it's not all that great. All right, another thing that I really don't like about working as a software developer, and some places offer flex hours, and my job claims that they do, but I really haven't seen it. Occasionally on a day that I need to you know, go to the doctor or run some errands, they don't mind if I step away from my desk, but it's not like I can log in at whatever time I want and do my work whenever I want. For the most part, I have specific hours that I need to be online and I need to wake up and I need to clock in at a certain time, even though I'm salary, I don't really clock in, but I need to be online at a certain time and I need to be on my computer for a set amount of times and specific hours. And having more flexibility would be great and some companies do offer it, but I really, really, really don't like having to just make sure that, hey, from nine to five, I am sitting here and I have to do this with the occasional day that I may have to go run an errand and I have to do it outside of my lunch break. You know, for the most part, I have to be at my desk for the same time every day, day after day, week after week, month after month, year after year. Maybe this video is not about things I don't like about being a software developer. Maybe it's more about things that I just don't like about having a job. I don't know. All right, one more thing that I don't enjoy about working as a developer is all the stuff that isn't code. There's meetings, there's emails, there's more meetings. There's just so much stuff that feels like is not what I thought it was gonna be. And I really thought that it was just gonna be writing code all day. And I really enjoy when I'm in the zone and I get to sit down and just code and not have to think about anything and have my headphones on and just be in the zone. And that was a lot of what learning to become a programmer was like for me. But this job that I work now is not as bad as my previous job where at my previous job, we had so many meetings. It was meetings about meetings and then scheduling more meetings about previous meetings. And it felt like sometimes I just didn't get a chance to write any code. And some days now at my current job, it can be like that. But for the most part, my management and, and my project manager and the other teams are pretty good about scheduling meetings 
when they're needed and they're usually fairly productive and we get to the point and we get to what the meeting is supposed to be about. But at my previous job, a lot of the times it felt like meetings would go nowhere and it was just a bunch of talking heads in a room and all I wanted to do was sit there and code. And again, some days it feels like I really didn't expect that. And that's just one of the things I don't like about working as a software developer is that it's not as much code as you think it's gonna be. And I'm lucky, but I know for a fact that many other people out there who are software developers that are just stuck in meetings all day and don't get to code at all. And then they get questioned as to why their work isn't getting completed because they don't have any time to actually code because their entire day consists of meetings and emails and planning and all this other stuff that isn't code related. And that's just one thing I don't like when it comes to working as a software developer. Some jobs are just gonna get you stuck in meetings all the time and have you doing a lot of stuff that isn't code related. So keep that in mind. All right, one more thing that really drives me crazy about working as a programmer is when I get stuck and I have to ask for help. And it may seem like this shouldn't be on this list, but I'll tell you like this. There is no worse feeling than when you're working on something and you need help and you know that you've been bothering the same person to help you over and over. And I've been on both sides of this. I've been the person that needs to ask someone for help over and over and over and have my hand held through something because I just don't understand how to fix it. And that's a terrible feeling. But I've also been on the side of being asked for help and being the person that has been called and asked to help someone with something that they don't understand. And both sides of it kind of sucks. But for me, it definitely feels worse having to be the person that has to ask someone for help constantly than being the person that helps someone. And usually people that I ask for help don't seem to mind that I'm asking them for help, but I know that it's gotta bug them after a while. And it also bugs me having to ask someone over and over for help with something. And it's just part of the job that kind of gets to me and I hate having to ask people for help all the time when I get stuck on something. And lately it feels like I've been having to do that more and more often and I've had to ask people for help a lot more lately because I've been working on things that are pretty hard and things that I don't understand. And it's just a crummy feeling when you have to ping someone and send them that message like, hey, you got a sex, I need to talk to you about something and you know, kind of know that they're busy and they've got their own things going and they, they have work that they need to accomplish and then you call them and then you take up 30 minutes of their time for something that they seem to understand fairly easily and it's something that you can't wrap your head around and you have to constantly ask them to explain it to you. It makes me feel really crummy and that's one thing that I hate about this job is feeling like I just don't know stuff most of the time and it, I don't know, it just comes with the territory, I guess. But that's one thing that I gotta say that I really have not been enjoying about being a software developer lately. All right, one more thing, the monotony of doing the same thing over and over and over again. And I think I mentioned this in the video where I talk about some of the lies that we tell you um, about becoming a software developer. And honestly, it kind of gets really, really boring. And I really hate having to do the same thing over and over every single day. And while I am learning a lot of new stuff lately, it does seem like all I do is I take information from a form and I save it to a database. And that's really what my job consists of and that's really all I do all day long. It's just different forms and different data. But at the end of the day, I'm just taking numbers and letters that people are entering in on the front end and I'm saving it on a SQL database and that's all I do. And however I manipulate the data in between is where the fun happens. And sometimes that isn't that much fun because it's pretty much doing the same stuff over and over every day, day in and day out. And the fact that it's the same thing all the time makes it pretty boring and it makes the job feel very boring. And God, I sound like I'm just bitching and I really don't mean to be, but I feel like these are just some of the things that lately have been making me feel like I don't enjoy software development all that much or working as a programmer all that much. And I feel that I just wanna share them with you because I don't know. I got somebody's got to listen to me complain and it might as well be you guys. Maybe it'll help you. Maybe it'll help you also realize that at the end of the day, this is just like any other job. And, you know, we're not these rock stars that work these super cool jobs that pay all this money. Although it does pay well, it's kind of 
a boring job where you do the same thing over and over every day. So sorry, but that's just something I haven't been enjoying. All right, so this last one is something I've just been feeling lately. And again, I don't know if this is just because I'm sick of working or if it's just because I there are things that I don't enjoy about being a software developer. But I will say that feeling like I'm using my talent and my skills to build something for other people and I'm dedicating my time every day to work on things for a salary that is paying my bills and is doing a lot of good things for my family and it's helping me save some money and it's it's you know keeping a roof over my head at the end of the day I feel like I have these skills that I can use to build anything I want like Seriously, I can build any kind of application that I want. If I if I stumbled around long enough, I can figure it out and I can build the next big startup. But I devote all my time every day to go to work and I'm building stuff for other people or I'm building stuff for the company I work at. And while I build something that's really cool and that helps people and it helps, you know, my company assess people for benefits and it, and it helps disabled people and elderly people ensure that they get the right benefits that they're supposed to be getting. At the end of the day, I still feel like I'm building something for someone else. And if I did this for the next 10 or 20 years, I'll look back and kind of regret not devoting some of that time that I spent working on someone else's stuff to working on my own stuff. And again, I don't know if this has to do with just kind of burning out or I'm starting to realize that I'm hitting a fork in the road where I'm like, if I go this way, I'll do this for the next 20 years and I may look back and feel like, man, I wish I would have done my own thing and and maybe if it was super successful or if it just kind of flopped, I would have tried and the other side of the road is going for it and figuring out something that I can do to build my future the way I want to build it and not just have the clock into a job every day and work for the man every day and you know collect that paycheck every every couple weeks and and pay my bills and just have enough to get by for the next you know few weeks and keep doing that for the rest of my life I don't know but I do feel like I want to explore the opportunities of building my own stuff and you know building my own business and different streams of income and this feels like it's going somewhere else but I feel that one of the things that I don't like about being a developer is that I'm going to be working for someone else all the time and not building my own stuff and not building my own future. And while having a pension and having a, a nice savings account and having a good salary is a good thing and it's stable and it's secure and it feels like the right thing to do, I do feel that sometimes taking that risk and maybe going and exploring opportunities that can be more beneficial for me in the long run with less of a ceiling is a lot better and it's one thing that I don't like about working a job or working a software developer job. Like I said, I feel like this video has become more of what I don't like about going to work every day than what I don't like about being a software developer or working as a software developer. All right, with all that said, I'm gonna end this video now. I hope it wasn't too negative. I hope it didn't like bum anyone out and make them feel like they're wasting their time learning how to code. Because being a software developer is a great job. It's a great career path. It opens up a lot of opportunities and learning how to code will give you some skills that will make you very marketable and give you the opportunity to build your own stuff if you want to and I feel like maybe that's where I'm headed to and maybe that's the reason why I made this video to kind of just vent and rant a little bit about stuff that I haven't been enjoying so much and maybe where the direction that I'm trying to take my life and my career and all my upcoming opportunities towards all right, with all that said, if you enjoyed this video, if it helped you out, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel for more videos of me talking about learning how to code and becoming a self-taught programmer or complaining about my life and my job that obviously, I don't know, from this video sounds like I hate, but I don't. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. And yeah.